Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we will be discussing about the last problem of today's weekly contest, number of accident pairs. The problem states that you are given a zero indexed positive integer array and a positive integer k. And you need to find out number of excellent pairs, num1, num2, such that both num1 and num2 exist in this array. And the sum of number of set bits in num1 or num2 and num1 and num2 is greater than or equals to k. So if a pair num1, num2 satisfies this condition, you will count that as a valid excellent pair. You need to find out all the distinct excellent pairs. Again, uh, a like distinct pair can be anything like nums1 and nums2 should exist in the array. It, it actually means that you can use a single element multiple times as well. So if a pair nums1, nums2 such that nums1 and equals to nums2 is there, it doesn't matter that nums1 should occur twice uh, two times if it occurs only one time that also is a valid sequence so basically you need to count count all the distinct accident pairs that satisfies this conditions so let's see how to solve this first uh, we need to see we need to f like this is the condition right the first condition is simple like nums1 and nums2 should exist in the array so that is okay the second condition is sum of number of set bits in nums1 or nums2 and nums1 and nums2 should be greater than or equals to k. So let's just try to find out or of these two in integer and and of these two integers. So or of these two integer would be like or would be one if either of the bit is one and it is zero if both of them are zero. So this or of one and one is one, one and zero is one, one and one is one, zero and zero, uh, it should be zero, sorry. And then one and one is one. Now and similarly and is if and is one if both of them are one otherwise it is zero so this this and this would be one others are zero now notice one thing what actually an or is or is actually like if any of the bit if if a bit is set is any of these numbers it will be set in this or right so in a way or of two number is equal to number of set bits in both the number like you can if you if you count the sum of set bits in both the number and then subtract the ones which are in common so like if, if you count if let's say you count there are three bits set in this and there are four bits set in this so how many bits are set in this or if you have to count this what you can say is number of bits that are set in this plus number of bits that are set in this minus number of common bit because the one which are common should only occur once in this result array right so number of common bits you will subtract so number of common bits are three here so you will subtract three as well so finally number of set bits is four in the or so that's how you calculate or similarly what is the value of end and is just number of common bits number of common bits in these two integers will be the number of set bits in and so in a way what we actually get here is or is number of set bit in nums1 plus number of set bits in nums2 minus number of bits that are common in both nums1 and nums2 and similarly and is number of bits that are common in nums1 and nums2 so here we are saying that num sum of these two should be greater than or equals to k, right? So what will be the sum of these two? Sum of these two, this will be cancelled out, right? So sum of these two would be number of set bits in one num1 plus number of set bits in num2. So or plus and actually is number of set bits in both nums1 and nums2. So hope this point makes sense. Now if this point is clear, what is our problem now the problem is we need to find out number of pairs such that sum of set bits is greater than or equals to k correct so let's say this is the array 8 6 3 9 15 19 so you what you can see is you will find out the number of set bits in each of these so number of set bits in 
8 is 1, number of set pieces 6 is 2 and so on and so forth. So if you convert this array into this, problem will further be reduced to instead of finding number of pairs such that number of set bits is greater than or equal to k, you can just say number of pairs such that their sum is greater than or equal to k because this is number of set bit, right? So this is our problem. So this is very standard problem. This can be solved in a lot of ways. So one, like there are few possible ways to solve this. One of the way is two pointer. Another way you can uh, solve the same problem in you by using binary search. So first, like in this video, we will be considering two pointer approach, but uh, binary search approach would be very similar. You just need to find out the lower bound. So this is our array one, two, two, uh, one, triple two, four, two. This actually denotes the number of set bits in the first number, number of set bits in the second number and so on and so forth. What you can do, you can sort this array and you need to just find out number of pairs such that sum greater than or equals to k, right? So you put a low, lower pointer at the start and a right pointer at the end. You will see whether L plus R or A of L plus A of R is greater than or equals to k or not. If it is not, it means let's say that if, if let's say uh, AL, uh, AL plus AR is smaller than k. Okay, so if it is smaller than k, it means you have to increase this sum. So if you want to increase this sum, you will move the left pointed one right. So now you will again check if they are less than or equals to less than k or not. If they are not, it means this forms a valid pair. So if this forms a valid pair, like r comma l forms a valid pair. So if r comma l forms a valid pair, r comma l plus one also forms a valid pair, right? Similarly, r comma l plus two also forms a valid pair, and so on and so forth up till r comma n, right? So this n l plus two are the indexes. So basically, what we are saying is 4 plus 2 is greater than or equals to k. It inherently means that every index after this, if we combine with r, everything will be greater than or equals to k because everything is greater than this index itself. So once we get once we get such a l, you will just add n minus l to the answer because you have this many pairs already figured out. So once you have figured out this, the well, like you have considered everything with this R. So you will move the R to the left. So similarly, you you will do this for everything and at the end you will have the answer. So what, uh, let's look at the code, like time complexity, if you look, if you look at the time complexity, complex, time complexity is like we are sorting this. So that will take order of n log in time and that's it. Now there is nothing, uh, like uh, after that we are just iterating over it. Now this n log n also can be optimized because number of set bits can at max be 60, right? Or 30 based on, um, based, based on the integer size. So instead of n log n, we can just use uh, selection sort or uh, counting sort that would actually bring down the complexity to order of k, but that's fine. So what we are now trying is we Let's look at the code. The code, uh, first of all, we need to remove all the, uh, we have to only consider only all the unique elements because otherwise uh, uh, same element will be counted twice and that would not uh, be a unique pair or a distinct pair. So I just put everything in a set so that it is all unique. After that, I'm counting the number of bits. Okay, so, and then we sort the array. So till now we reach here. So what after that, we will just need to apply the two pointer approach. L is zero and R is N minus one. Now, while r is greater than or equals to zero and l is less than n, we will keep on doing this thing. So if it is less than k, if beta of l plus beta of r is less than k, we will move forward l because the sum is less. So we will move forward one so that sum will become greater. And otherwise it is greater than or equals to k. It means this r comma l pair is valid. So if this r comma l play is valid, it means r comma l plus one, r comma l plus two, l plus three, l plus four up to n is valid. So we are just adding n minus l to our result and decrementing r. So now just look at the bit count uh, function. It just take it just iterating over 30 bits because the value, the maximum value of num of i is 10 to the power nine. So at max 30 bits can be there. So it's just iterating over all the 30 bits and uh, so checking whether they are set or not.
so hope you get the solution if you have any doubts in this problem please post them in the comment section below i will be happy to answer and i will see you in the next one thank you